Hey guys, this is Donovan Jackson speaking, also known as Don Jackson, also known as Machete Face. Um, and in my earlier years, I made games under the alias of Dism's. Those games are still up. Uh, they're not the best representation of my current skill level, though. So we're going to talk a little bit about Marley um, and what makes this game special. Marley is a platformer for Flash. It's based in a browser. Uh, it runs through Flash Player. It's one of the biggest and most ambitious platformers you're going to see on Flash. But besides that, it has some special gimmicks to it. And one of the big things is that you can control two characters simultaneously. Now, I'm not saying that hasn't been done, but I've done this in a bit of a different way. Um, I've worked on this game overall for about a year now, and the overall concept I've worked on for about two years. Um, so Marley, the gecko himself, you're controlling him using your, your keyboard, but his imp buddies are controlled using the mouse. Now, there's a variety of different characters, uh, or imp characters controlled with the mouse, including the hammer here, who can smash the walls. Um, and what they do, is they, they use a variety of uh, different mouse movements and uh, clicking positions to control them. Um, this is the beginning of my proof of concept. So we're going to talk about this level, um, which is more uh, effective for proving the concept and uh, advertising the game. Um, so this level is called Danger at Dawn. It's a western level, as you can tell. Um, and you've already seen a variety of characters being used. Now what, what sets this game apart is that you use the mouse to control these characters, and the mouse controls them in a certain way. You'd have to play it to see, but I think it's very effective to prove the concept. Um, besides that, there's an emphasis on problem solving as well as dexterity, a little bit of rhythm in there, you know, platformers do have that, they're not a rhythm game, but there is a bit of a rhythm and a flow to them, uh, you know, precision, timing, concentration, dexterity, uh, problem solving, focus, these are all things that make platformers great. Um, so, as you can see here, I'm using one of the characters who, right now, he's going to follow Marley. He has his own artificial intelligence, and what he'll do is, he's going to follow Marley for the time being, but when he sees what are called orbital blocks, he'll then home to the mouse. And what you can do then is, you can click on these orbital blocks, and he's able to use them as catapults to throw Marley. Um, now, there's a variety of different kinds of orbital blocks, and they do different things, um, but that's one of the primary ones you're going to see in your game. Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem here. Um, so we're going to have to use another one of Marley's imprints. Now, this character named Clock, uh, I know, I'm very creative. Um, he's able to create these temporal bubbles that will slow down time within that range. And he's using actually a variety of puzzles. He's one of the main uh, puzzle based uh, imp characters that you're going to use. Uh, there's another one that you won't see in this video. Um, and basically, he's going to be used to... This is probably one of my worst runs on this level, but it isn't that easy either. Um, but basically, the idea is you got to use him here to slow down these blocks so that Marley can get across the gap, at least relatively uninjured. So right here, I'm going to quickly demonstrate uh, another one of Clock's uses. Um, so these spiky balls are stopping Marley from being able to use that, uh, that orbital block. Um, so you can actually slow down these, these spikes uh, independently and alter the pattern that they go by. Um, so now, it's a little more reasonable. Now it's just based on timing. And once I saw an opening, I took it, and there you go. Uh, 
if you're curious, this is from the level uh, level 12. It's called uh, Rapacious Oasis. Um, and this is actually one of the more difficult levels. Um, but it's not the most difficult by any means. The, the game will get extremely hard by the time you're in the third province. So that about wraps up the main presentation. Um, you know, got the key points to the video. Um, as a platformer, there's a lot of collectibles and achievements that can be done through this game. As actually one of the challenges right here, right quickly, um, this is called the Emerald Challenge. It's found in every province, not in every level, but in most. And uh, if you get all the collectibles for that province, you unlock the Emerald Challenge and additional challenges as well. Um, which could lead to hidden levels. Um, and one more thing I forgot to mention is that this game, once it's released to the public, um, if it is successful, um, even if it's not successful, you know, so long as I have followers, um, this game will be updated on uh, maybe not necessarily every 30 days, but around every month, and new additional levels will be added. Um, so, you know, thanks for watching, and uh, if you want to toss some support, please check out our website at www.theepicgecko.com.